if we really want to know what God has to say about Israel. I believe that Zechariah chapter 14 shows us this play. It's amazing how I read this scripture the other day and how I could see, really, really see that this is reflected of what is happening today, not just reflected, but was prophetic thousands of years ago when it was shown to Zechariah. And while I was asking the Lord, what is it, Lord, I need to understand from scripture about Israel. And then he told me to turn to Zechariah 14 and here we find this most amazing prophecy. Behold the day of the Lord cometh and thy spoil shall be divided in the midst of thee for I will gather all nations against Jerusalem to battle and the city shall be taken and the houses rifled and the women ravished and half of the city shall go forth into captivity and the residue of the people shall not be cut off from the city. Now this is absolutely amazing after we've had that awful thing that happened on October the 7th when the Hamas terrorists invaded Israel and we saw what happened with the women being ravished and it's like that verse was partly fulfilled and yet horror of horrors we read more of this when it talks about Jerusalem and the nations coming against Israel and coming against Jerusalem and we see truly this is indeed happening really it is and so we see that but then notice the next verse 3 then shall the Lord go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. And look at verse 4. And his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives, which is before Jerusalem, on the east, and the Mount of Olives shall cleave in the midst thereof towards the east and towards the west, and there shall be a very great valley, and half of the mountain shall remove toward the north and half of it towards the south. And then goes on this amazing description. So I would say to you, is this not possible? That now this scripture, verse 1 and 2, is being fulfilled. And if this is the case on near, very near fulfilment, then as surely as that is being fulfilled, shall the next thing happen that the Lord will go forth and fight against those nations as when he fought in the day of battle. And then we find the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Messiah, as his feet shall stand in that day upon the Mount of Olives. So you see, the day of the Lord cometh, and these signs are showing how near that day is. Turn to Zechariah 14 and ask the Holy Ghost to open your eyes to what is happening today and you'll see the reality of it all. Amen.